Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So, WordPress development will thrive in an AI world. Let me explain how. This video is sponsored by Kinsta, an awesome WordPress hosting company. More on that a little later. So AI is scaring some developers because it writes a lot of code. It's not perfect, but it does write a lot of code. Now, it doesn't write the code perfectly, but it's getting better and better every day. And so we're seeing large corporations huge ones out there, they are either letting go of developers or they're not hiring new developers because the productivity is increasing quite a bit. So I've heard people tell me if they've increased their productivity by 25%, 30%. Some have said they've developed apps in a fraction of the time. So I spoke to a startup a couple of weeks ago and they were saying they developed a, uh, their product for their startup. They were able to do in three months with the help of AI instead of a year. So that's very, very productive. So what about WordPress? Why do I know, I, I was about to say think, but what I do know is that WordPress will not negatively impact WordPress devs. And there's ton, plenty of work in terms of WordPress out there because so many small businesses use it. Why will AI not impact WordPress developers in the AI world? Well, there's a few reasons. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Kinsta. This is a managed WordPress hosting service. They have four major bullet points that uh, will entice you to join. They're actually pretty good. So they have performance optimization. Their sites load really fast, like 200% faster. If you go check out the kinsta.com, you can see the site just like loads very quickly. Number two, they have very good security. In fact, they have a level of security I haven't seen before. The main bullet point that stands out to me is they got Malware removal. They will remove any malware that might hit your WordPress site. They'll take care of it at no extra cost. Besides that, they got a lot of proactive things like make sure, making sure the plugins you use, et cetera, are safe. That alone, for me, as a longtime WordPress user, is the price of admission. It's when you get hit with those malware, it's not good. They also have an intuitive custom dashboard called MyKinsta, which will make managing the site much easier, much better than what you typically see cPanel and other custom dashboards. So that's very cool. And another major bonus, as far as I'm concerned, is they got human-only custom support. They don't use a GPT-based chatbot. They have custom support from uh, actual users. So that's pretty good. So those are the four reasons to use it. And for new users to Keenstud, they're offering uh, new customers. They're offering first month of managed WordPress hosting for free on selected plans. So you have plenty of time to check out the servers, make sure everything's cool. To take advantage of this deal, check out kinsta.com, links below, or you can use the QR code right here. Pretty cool, you just scan your phone, hit the button, and uh, it'll take you right to where you wanna be. All right, kinsta.com, links below, cheers. The first reason is that WordPress has many layers to it. So first, you have to install it. Then you got the themes, you have to understand the whole theme ecosystem. A big part of WordPress strength are the themes, right? All these different themes is one of the main reasons why you'd want to use a WordPress. And number three, you got the plugins. You got all these different plugins as well. Again, another big part of its strength is the plugin architecture and the plugin ecosystem in the WordPress world, but it's also one of its weaknesses because a lot of the plug plugins could be problematic, meaning they could be vectors of attack, security vulnerabilities. So one of the roles of a WordPress professional or developer is to know the plugin landscape, to understand which ones are good, which ones are not good, what you can do with plugins, what you can't do versus the themes. So all this information, you could you can get access to it and on a high level with the AI, but you got to know to ask these questions. Think of a typical business owner. They don't even know what questions to ask, let alone be able to implement these things. So you got the three basic things. You got the themes, you got the installation, configurations of WordPress, you got the plugins. This is where AI is not going to do much for you. So in terms of the config, it's not necessarily easy. Now, WordPress installation could be pretty easy because a lot of hosting companies, they have the one click install, but there's still all the questions of the cu customizations and uh, knowing what type of install, install do you want. Uh, so when I'm talking about customizations, choosing your plugins, uh, setting up the WordPress, just the base WordPress, understanding um, user types, user levels, admin users, uh, writers, contributors, et cetera, and so on. So 
again, AI is not going to do that work for you. There's no AI, it won't be for a while, that can uh, go in there and customize WordPress for you. It's not going to happen. Again, that is where the WordPress professional is going to come in very handy for, I would say, years to come. As I suggested, a big part of being a WordPress pro is being able to make choices about the themes, about the plugins you're going to use, how you're going to configure it, where you're going to host it, how you're going to host it. These are all important issues, and that's why, just off the top, just off the top of my head, superficially, that's why AI is no threat to WordPress development and WordPress developer jobs. So if you're worried about the software game, again, certain areas of development will be impacted by AI. There's no question it's already happening. But I think uh, WordPress and other content management systems, but WordPress is, is the dominant one, that's for sure, because so many companies use it. It's one of the uh, it's one of those areas where AI is going to have the least impact. Ironically, React developers will be far more impacted than WordPress people. Uh, Java developers will be, C sharp developers will be, just about you know all the people. If you're dealing with backends uh, that traditionally would be considered the more elite roles, those will be more impacted then WordPress pros, WordPress developers, because it's not multi-tiered necessarily. Anyhow, um, generally speaking, if you know me, I'm not uh, fearful of AI. I just see it as the next evolution in the development game. Yes, when you have an evolutions in development, as we saw when we went from thick client development to the web, certain old jobs disappeared. But a whole bunch of new jobs appeared. So we're seeing that in the AI world as well. We're seeing a whole bunch of new jobs appear. But I'll leave that to the next video. So again, if you are worried about jobs and you want to get into it, get into WordPress development, there's plenty of work. It can be very high paying once you know what you're doing. And uh, AI ain't going to be touching that anytime soon for the reasons I just laid out. Thank you.